Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video, we're going to break down the new Shoei J Cruise 2 helmet available at Revzilla.com. So on the table in front of me is the new J Cruise 2. This is an updated version over the previous J Cruise, which is the helmet in black that's on the table with me. The first thing you'll notice, it, it does get a $50 price bump. So this is coming in now around the $550 mark. Remember at Revzilla, we do have the price match guarantee. So you are guaranteed to get the lowest price. But the old previous version was getting a bit long in the tooth. It was introduced in 2013. It is now 2020. So this helmet is seven years old. So it was time that Shoei upgraded the J Cruise. That's what you're seeing with the two. It's gonna carry over a lot of what we liked about the original J Cruise, but you're gonna get some additional comfort features included here. Now, the main thing you'll notice from the outside, if you flip these bad boys side to side, this just looks a little bit more sporty, a little more styled. And part of that is gonna be the extended spoiler on the back. It gives it a bit more of an aggressive look. Now that spoiler is actually functional in the fact that if you upgrade to the SRL system, the Shoei Rider Link system, which is a built-in comm system, that's where the battery get, gets housed. But from just a purely aesthetic point of view, it just adds a slightly more aggressive sporty look to the helmet. What has not changed? It is still gonna be their AIM shell. That's Advanced Integrated Matrix Shell Design. Four different shells built within the size lines. DOT rated, three pounds, eight ounces when we threw this on a scale in a large, and it has an intermediate oval head shape. What that means for you, a little bit longer front to back, slightly narrower down the side of the head. And if you're not sure exactly how to size up a helmet, you can always check out our how to size and buy helmets guide where we walk you through how to look at both measurements as well as the shape to make sure that you get the right helmet to fit you right out of the box. So what has really changed here since the 2013 version? So I mentioned the SRL system. Now the SRL system is a bit controversial. Some riders like it, some riders don't. What you have now is you've got these two little pods on either side that can be removed. What you can put in there now is going to be their comm system. It's a proprietary comm system designed to work with showy helmets. Now, some people like this because it cuts down on wind noise. When we're looking at something like the Neotech 2, which is a modular full face helmet, that makes sense because you're gonna have something that's closed off. As far as cutting down wind noise on an open face helmet, I think it's gonna be splitting hairs to whether or not this thing is gonna be any quieter or have less noise, you know, or have, you know, noise reduction based on no longer having a comm system on the side. Now, the reason this is controversial is that for folks that already have a comm system, they just wanna take it out of their previous helmet, install it to the new one, it makes it a bit harder to do. Now, you can still mount to this helmet using a, uh, a non-proprietary system. You just got to mount it a little bit further back or use a sticky mount. So just keep that in mind. Now, the other thing you'll notice with the differences to the top, you're gonna have extra vents. So it used to just have one main vent on the top. You're now gonna have three vents and there's two positions for each of these to be open. These are gonna be three different active vents. In the back, you are gonna have a passive vent. Now, you'll also notice that the channels in the EPS are cut a little bit deeper. We'll get to the inside of the helmet in just a minute. Now, we were talking about that intermediate oval head shape. One of the complaints with the earlier version was that was just a bit too narrow uh, along the ears, along the side of the head, especially if you were trying to use a comm system. So Shoei has improved the room around your ears. So if you are using a comm system, it's going to be much more comfortable for you. So just a little bit of extra room and we'll take a look at those speaker cutouts as we dive into the inside of this. The final thing I wanna note on this, just opening that up, you will notice that the drop down sun visor, still there, that's a carryover, but it's now about 10 millimeters longer. So just better coverage at the front. For those of you that like to use this instead of using sunglasses, this is now gonna cover all the way down. There were some complaints on the previous version that it wasn't long enough. They have addressed that. The other thing you'll note is that the face shield on this is going to be pin lock ready. Pin lock insert is not included in the box that's sold separately, but it is going to be a pin lock ready face shield. Let's go ahead and pull that internal sun visor up. Now, the first thing you will notice as a change to the inside of this, the double D rings are gone. This is now gonna be a ratchet strap. This is a change that we saw them make first to their Neotech 2, and now it's being carried over to the J Cruise 2. This is another one of those things that is going to be divisive. Some people love a ratchet strap. Some people do not like a ratchet strap. It's really gonna come down to personal preference. The benefit here is that it is easy in, easy out. Um, the downside is that some people feel that the ratchet strap is a bit more uncomfortable than a traditional double D ring. But either way, this is what you're going with now. So just keep that in mind. 
Taking a look at the inside, the uh, the uh, the changes that you're going to notice to the base of the uh, of the cheek pads before I go ahead and pull them out, they're now going to have this kind of a vinyl covering to them. That's a little bit of an upgrade over the previous version. They just basically feel a little more stout. What I would have loved to have seen is if they would have used the same kind of a contoured neck roll that we saw them take with the approach to the Neotech 2. I think that could have benefited here a little bit too, just giving you a little bit better closure around the, uh, the base of the, uh, of the neck. Pulling these out, we will get a closer look at the, uh, the speaker pockets themselves. I just wanna grab these out on both sides. So what you're gonna notice is you just have two main snaps and then this bottom plastic piece is actually gonna go into the EPS liner. Now when you first pull the cheek pads out, what you're gonna notice is you're gonna have these two placeholders which are gonna be installed in the helmet. If you pull these out, you will notice that there are now gonna be cutouts for the speaker pockets located right inside. So if you're running the, uh, the SRL system, you can run that in there, or if you're using your own uh, non-proprietary system, you're gonna notice that there's cutouts for the wires. Um, you can channel that through as well as cutouts for the speakers. You'll also be able to see that even in addition to the speaker pockets, this is where that extra room is around the ear. So again, just more comfortable around the internal shape of the helmet. For those of you riding long distances, it definitely wore on you with the old one. This is a much more comfortable design. The liner itself is relatively unchanged, but you will notice as we take a look at the EPS liner on the inside, the cutouts, the channels for the vents are just slightly deeper than the previous version, helping to promote airflow. So again, what we're really seeing for the J Cruise 2 is a light update, addressing a lot of the comfort and fitment issues that Shoei has seen in the past. You are all now, you're also now seeing that they've integrated that SRL system, so if you don't have a comm system already, this is gonna be a pretty simple plug and play design. You will notice down at the bottom, this is where we were talking earlier about that uh, little spoiler at the back. That's where the battery pack goes. And then the system actually, these black side pieces come off and the system mounts in there. And you'll notice, like I said earlier, with those speaker pocket cutouts, they also have all the channels in there to help run the wiring. So that's not giving any undue pressure or discomfort along the head. So some really nice upgrades for the J Cruise compared, or for the J Cruise 2 rather, compared to the J Cruise. And like I said, from a pricing standpoint, it's gonna bump up about $50 in price, but we do have that price match guarantee. So. If any of you out there are still unfamiliar as to whether or not this helmet's right for you, maybe you want to hear what other riders have to say, now would be the time you can click your info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews. Or if you're not sure as to whether or not the helmet's right for you and your riding style, you can always reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. They can walk you through all the different options that are available um, for you to go with from a helmet selection standpoint. But I do want to take some time and say thank you for joining us for this look at the J Cruise 2 helmet from Shoei. I'm Spurge, enjoy the ride.